This is vocabulary and some instruction for, for lesson 5-2 in signing naturally. We are going to talk about directionality. Some signs are directional, meaning they can move different directions to give a specific meaning. They are verbs called directional verbs or indicating verbs. In the Signing Naturally book, they are called agreement verbs because they have to agree with a specific person or location. Directional signs are a little like contractions in English. They are a more efficient and concise way of saying the same thing. So in ASL, directional, shine, directional signs show multiple words in one sign, such as I give you is just one sign. So we're going to learn a few directional signs in this vocabulary list, and there are others. So the looks like 12 that we will learn today are tell to. So in English, we might just say tell. Um, but because this is a directional verb, it has to add, go somewhere. So tell is a number one hand shape and you start out touching your chin with your dominant hand. And then whoever you're telling is the end of the sign. So tell you would go that way. Tell me, tell him, tell her. So tell you and tell me. Ask. Um, this in, in English, we have one word ask that means two different things. In ASL, there are two different signs to reflect the two different meanings. So this ask means to ask a question. There's a different sign for the word ask that means to make a request. I'm going to ask you to please sit down versus I'm going to ask you how to get to the store. Okay, so this is the question kind asking a question. So you wanna start with a one hand shape and there are two different ways to sign it. You can either just end in an, in an X or you can kind of draw a little question in the air and throw it. Okay, so again, this is a directional verb. So if you're gonna ask me, it would come this way. Or if I ask you or I ask all of you or I ask him, or I ask, I'll do the other way, ask her, that's ask. Show, well, it's ask to. So show or show to is signed with a five hand shape on your non-dominant hand, one on your dominant hand, and you just point to the middle of your palm. If I, and again, it's directional. So if I show you, you show me, he shows you, so that's show to. Give to can be one-handed or two-handed, and again, is directional, so the end of the sign depends on who you're talking about. It's a squished O handshape with your palm facing up, or you could do two hands, and um, again, like he, he gives me, I give you, you give her, I give all of you. So that's give to. It could be one-handed or two-handed, like I said. To take from, um, this one, again, starts, this time it starts sort of on, on who you're taking it from. So if I take from you, I take from him, you take from me. So it's, it's a five hand shape and you put your palm down and then as you bring your hand closer to you, well, I guess depends on the, on the direction. Hmm. As you move your hand, you close it. So if you take I take from you, then you can take from me, all right? Take from. Throw to, so we learned the sign for throw before. If you're throwing to, it actually, so it starts with a five hand, or S hand shape, and ends with an H hand shape. So throw to you, you throw it to him. He throws it to her and she throws it to me. 
So that's throw to. Inform. This word in ASL is used a lot more than it is in English um, because it's the, it's the equivalent of let you know. So, hey, I wanna let you know, or he let me know that that's inform in ASL. So you start with a squished O hand shape. This can be one-handed or two-handed, just like give was. So inform is almost like you're giving it from your brain, giving it from your head. So it's that same hand shape, and then it opens as you inform whoever you are informing, okay? So you inform me, or you let me know. I can inform you. He can inform me. So that's inform. And the way I signed it just there, the English equivalent would be let me know. Inform me. So help can be signed as a general sign and then it can also be directional. So if um, you're saying something like, we received a lot of help, but you're not talking about who it was from, help. Non-dominant hand, a flat hand shape, well, more of a five, five hand shape. Maybe it's a flat hand shape. <laughs> flat hand shape, and then a thumbs up on your dominant hand, and it kind of moves a little. I have also seen people lift it up, help. So this is just general help. Then helping directionally, you help me, I help her, she helps him, just moves to whoever you're talking about. So I help you or you help me. Or I can just say help me. Or help him, help them, etc. All right, bring to. So again, this is a directional sign because you don't just bring something you bring it somewhere it ends up somewhere or to a person right so bring to is two flat hand shapes with your palms facing up and then you just move them together wherever you're bringing them so if you are going to bring me cookies it goes that way all right if i'm going to bring you cookies or if he brings her cookies Okay, move to is squished O hand shapes with your palm facing down, and then you move it to wherever you're moving it. So let's say you have a cup over here and you're gonna move it over here. It can be one-handed or two-handed. It's very similar to put, only it, well, put also moves. So move to just depends on where it is. If you're going to move one thing from here to there, you just show that. All right, the last sign in this list is newspaper. So you want to, on your non-dominant hand, flat hand, palm facing up, you are going to use an L hand shape that touches your finger and your thumb, like bird or 20. Same movement, same palm orientation, everything only the location is actually on your palm. So newspaper. And that is, uh, yes, <laughs> if I missed anything I wanted to tell you. No, that is lesson five to vocabulary about directionality and directional signs.